Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about a uh, little add-on that I think that every drone or flying vehicle should have, that is the discovery buzzer. In this case, it's a free pin buzzer, as in it has a PWM switch in it, so it only activates with, with the PWM signal. A buzzer like this, you can use it in two ways. If you have, uh, let's say, a standard receiver, you can put it in one of the channels, uh, the auxiliary channels and with the flip of switch you can activate it, as simple as that but if you're using, like me, um, a satellite you don't have any pins to put the buzzer on so uh, you have to use the CC3D motor output pins most of this installation is software based so the only thing you have to do in the in your drone is to buy a buzzer put it in one of your uh, free motor output pins simple as that next we're gonna connect it to the CC3D and configure it now that I connected the CC3D to my computer you can now configure the buzzer so you go to vehicle and in here you want to assign a channel of your uh, receiver to a channel of, in this case, the buzzer. So to do that, you go to here and you see, in, in this case, I'm assigning SX30 to my channel 5. If you don't have anything, you want to put the channel where you put your uh, buzzer. In this case, I'm, I'm connecting to the uh, motor 5 on the CC3D, and so I'm uh, uh, assigning channel 5. Next, you want to go to custom, and the same thing, you see here channel 5, you want to change to accessory 0 and save and if you have here a value 0, you want to change into 127 and now we're almost done next, you want to go to outputs and you'll see that uh, bank 5 will be uh, addressable as in you can change the values of the motor in here you want to not put a thousand in the minimum but 500 and in the max 2000 that this is the only way the buzzer will work when you toggle the um, the switch that's basically it as you can see my my switch accessory zero is working and to see the, if everything is working you, know, you have to connect the uh, battery to your drone As I can see it's already buzzing and by the flip of the switch it starts to buzz it's really loud uh, by default uh, when you power up the drone it will always buzz a little bit then it should stop and that's pretty much it. In the end, it's pretty easy to set it up. It has a little tricks, but it, it's easy. So if you liked the video and it was useful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have anyone with the same interest as you, share it so that everyone can see. And see you in the next one.